Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have to start this video with uh, a personal sharing. For some reason, I think it's due to the prayers, I just woke up with this enormous sense of peace and safety and trust in God, you know? And I can feel this energy around me, so I don't know if you are experiencing similar feelings today. I hope you do, because today, 11-11, which is 11th of November, Poland is celebrating the Independence Day. And this is to commemorate the anniversary of the restoration of Poland's sovereignty as the Second Republic in 1918 from German, Austro-Hungarian and Russian empires. As many of you know, there was a time in history, we're gonna cross the street here guys, it's my favorite park by the way, there was a time in history when Poland didn't exist at all and was be divided between three empires Russia, Prussia or Prussia and uh, Austrian Hungarian Empire so why I'm telling all of this to you is not just because of the anniversary today but because the article that I will have for you the news that I will have for you is related to Polish independence and what took place yesterday and that was a speech that the leader of law and justice movement Jarosław Kaczyński gave in Warsaw uh, and there have been some very important words that I would like to bring to your attention and before I go into this article, before I give you his words, I want to say, to kind of set the tone for what I'm about to share, that when you are dealing with evil, let's put this way, the most challenging aspect of it is that it's not all lies. There is some truth blended with those lies and that's what makes people sometimes very confusing very confused excuse me very confused because they cannot determine let me see where can we go they cannot determine if this person is good or if this person is bad so maybe i put the timestamp on this video because some of you might be just interested in the news but I think it's important to highlight that highlight this aspect of it because in this speech that I will tell you in a sec there are some words that I agree with do I agree with law and justice? no do I agree with those new parties and old parties that changed their names coming into power in Poland? of course not none of those people I trust however I also know that those words, some of those words that he has spoken, are truth. But I will give you my commentary after again, so there will be a timestamp for those of you who lack patience, which is not a good thing, <laughs> to click on it. Okay, November 11th, today, and now let me read you what Kaczynski, the leader of Law and Justice, said yesterday. Our independence is to be only a historical incident once again. This is the title of the article from Rzeczpospolita, which is Soros Money Portal. However, it's uh, straight to the point, so I'm gonna read you this. There is a prospect of taking over power by a camp that wants to restore high pensions to the secret police said the chairman of Law and Justice Party, Jarosław Kaczyński, in front of the, moment, of the monument of Marshal Józef Piłsudski. On the eve, this is yesterday, on the eve of the 105th anniversary of Poland's independence, Law and Justice organized the March of Remembrance, 
which set off after the mass in the cathedral of John the Baptist to the monument of Józef, Józef Piłsudski. Those of you who have been to in Warsaw, you probably know it's Krakowskie Przedmieście area. So they had this march from this church, from, from the cathedral to the monument of Piłsudski, which is, I showed you this monument when I was in Warsaw, so you can click on those videos. There, the chairman of the Law and Justice Party took the floor, mainly warning against the loss of independence of Poland. According to Kaczyński's theory, Poland is threatened by the implementation of a plan already prepared, the implementation of which by the European Union leads not only to the loss of independence, but even to the annihilation, I, I, didn't, I mispronounced it, I know, to the point where when Poland stops to exist, okay? I paraphrase. Kaczyński claims that such a plan has been adopted by the Constitutional Committee of the European Parliament. Now, this is exactly from his mouth. What is yet to be discussed is nothing other than the implementation of the plan to liquidate our independence. Let me just go up here. Um, our independence is to be once again only a historical incident and Poland would be an area ruled from the outside, but inhabited by Poles. And he continues, the German plan, as Kaczyński declared, that in, this is the German plan, Kaczyński declared, that in order to stop this process, a great effort and great consolidation will be necessary because Poles want to be free and independent. One more page. The plan to deprive Polish of its sovereignty is to be pursued by the camp which, quoting him, wants to take over power today. So now he's referring to Tusk and all those other parties that join as the coalition, as a opposition. I'm just telling you like, like they say, which is of course not true. These people will certainly strive to implement this plan. This coalition is led by a German party, not a Polish one, an external party. Now, another chapter here, another paragraph, I would say, is titled Pensions for the SS Officers. And it goes on like this. In addition, the democratic parties, which secured the parliamentary majority and the parliamentary elections, intend to restore high pensions to the secret police, according to Kaczyński. There is a prospect, although not yet certain, of taking over power by a camp that wants to restore high pensions to the secret police, that is to give privileges to those who terrorized Poland, who maintained the semi-colonial and sometimes also colonial status of our country, who persecuted all those who wanted freedom. At the end, Kaczyński referred to the anniversary of the Smolensk catastrophe. You remember that plane in Smolensk where his brother and wife of his brother and many high rank officials have died. It has been 13 years and seven months. It won't be easy, but we have to strive for victory. This victory will be the defense of Polish independence. Okay, so this is all from uh, what he said yesterday. Now, what I want to tell you in my personal opinion, if you care, is this. Again, I want to emphasize, I am not pro law and justice and I am not pro any of those parties who got into the parliament at all. But I want to say this. Um, that that plan exists, of course, we know it, Euro European Union plan, we know it. So let's say there are two roads. There is one road that is European Union and different level of destruction and control. Uh, and there is another role, which is law and justice, which again, is nothing about freedom. It's an illusion of it, but that's how I present it. They present themselves as conservatives. Again, I want to say they are not. Okay. 
and then seems like it's a different completely opposite uh, path but you have to remember both of those paths war with Russia uh, or anti-German you know approach or going to European Union fully over Poland both of those paths are leading to the United States this is the decision-making center this is no not a joke this is how it is because if you think that European Union is a sovereign entity and is just running whatever they are running by their own self-creation you're very very mistaken and I'm not an expert again this is just my common sense and me being an observer of the current events so what he said to some extent is actually true he put some truth in between colluded com com in between words that actually are not quite honest and what you have you have some truth hidden truth so you always have to seek for this um, there is a plan how they're gonna execute it god knows if they will be able to execute it also god knows and it's up to people what people will do with this so that's all i have for you today everyone uh, i would like to know what do you think because you ha you are very very deep thinkers very savvy politically geopolitically you have an amazing uh, knowledge and awareness and you're also majority of you i i'm sure is very intuitive and very spiritual and you can use your mind your brain and your heart to seek for the the truth and dig out you know the weeds and dig out the treasures so that's all i have for you please make sure to check your subscriptions if you're subscribed if you haven't already i appreciate if you do turn on the notification bell leave this like since it's free of charge and it really helps my channel to grow it means a lot to me if you would like to support me you'll find the links down below buy me a coffee for my trip to china thank you from my heart to all of those who did already very grateful very very thankful and also uh, join my mailing list just in case there is an instagram you can follow if you want and locals of course i almost forgot my locals community lots of love everyone and remember we are the leading edge and we are saving humanity bye guys